Hello everyone and welcome to a new Precious Plastic video. Today we are in Turin and we're going to be learning how to build the Cyclette Shredder, a human-powered machine that can enable anyone to shred plastic waste into smaller flakes that can be used in a precious plastic machine. Let's go! All right, so today we're going to be building a Cyclette Shredder developed by Precious Plastic Torino, one of the leading precious plastic organizations in Italy. And over the years, we've seen multiple people in the precious plastic community taking a shredder and adding it onto a bike. However, we never had the time to develop it ourselves. And this is where the power of the community comes in. Decentralized development, from the community to the community. Precious plastic style, free and open source, to further our efforts to tackle the big plastic waste problem. Okay, but today we're not gonna be building a bicycle shredder. However, we're gonna be building a cyclette shredder. And this is very much because it's much, much, much simpler to build. Additionally, a cyclette is a very easy thing to find. You can go in any second-hand store and you can find one, if not for free, incredibly cheap. So basically today we're gonna be cleaning up the cyclette, taking the shredder box and mounting it onto it. The cyclette shredder is perfect for shredding small objects like lids or caps or maybe even bottles. However, we wouldn't really recommend to run your recycling operations with it. Unless, of course, you're training for a Tour de France or something like that. This machine is perfect for educational workshops and events. People simply love this machine. It's fun, it's engaging, it's interactive, and particularly kids absolutely adore this machine. Additionally, it doesn't require any electricity. It's fully human powered, so it's much easier to run an event or festival or some off-grid uh, events. To access all the information to replicate this machine, go on the how-to and download the download kit where you can find all the 3D files, technical drawing, CAD files, anything you need to replicate this machine. Even though for the first six months, the drawings will be available for our patrons first, so that we can try to find a way to fund open source. And please make sure to mark the how-to as useful and comment there so we can help even to improve the machine and take it further. Okay, so without any further ado, here is Ivan, and he's gonna show you how to build the Cyclette Shredder. Hello everyone, I'm Ivan from Precious Plastic Torino, and today I want to show you how to build this fantastic Cyclet Shredder. It's uh, very simple to build this uh, Cyclet Shredder. We have just uh, two main steps. The first is the frame, and the second is the shredder box. Unfortunately, I am no a full workshop, so for some operation I use external contractors. Okay, we can start from building the frame. We can start to clean the frame. You just need very simple tools to remove all the parts that we don't use or that we have to clean and paint for a new look. Okay, we can start. We have uh, removed the plastic. Now we have uh, these uh, strange uh, cables that we don't need, so we have to remove and don't use again. Now we have to cut this cable that is for speed. We have just to remove this uh, heavy wheel. We keep it because maybe in the future we can use it for helping the rotation of a um, handle shredder, maybe. Last step is to remove pedals, this plastic uh, stuff, and to cut this metal plate. This is a part that we need after, so we don't have to lose the bolt. This also is so important to keep. We have uh, removed all the parts, 
These are the components that we have to keep because we will reuse on the frame. The frame is quite ready to be painted. We need to clean, to sand and uh, finally you can paint it. Okay, the frame is painted and it's ready to have the components to be mounted back. The chapter one is finished, the frame is painted, cleaned and everything is mounted again and now we are going to the chapter two, the shredder box. Here we have uh, all the laser cutted parts that you will find on the drawings that you can download. And uh, here we have the shredder box. Here we have the custom plates that uh, we will use to fix the shredder to the frame. The shredder box is uh, quite slim, similar to the basic of precious plastic, but uh, the differences are that it has bearings inside and it no needs welding. Just this system of putting parts and fix it with bolts. It's very simple. Let's start to build the shredder box. It's very important to Pay attention to these little holes. They have to be in the bottom, like this one. Holes are on the bottom side. These two bolts on the bottom are for the sieve. It's the time for it. We put it on the bottom and then we will close all the box. We have to close with these plates because these bolts are passing through the plates. Before to put the shredder on the box, we have to put this bolt, it's very important. And also the direction and the position of this plate. It has a square side here, you have to put here and to close. This is very important because this bolt fix the entire box to the frame. This is the shredder box. These are the four elements to close it and to fix it to the frame. Okay, now everything is uh, on the right place. Just a uh, few bolts and it's finished. We have two kinds of bolts. This longer, that is four centimeters, and uh, this one that is two centimeters. Let's start with the two longer that are fixed on these two holes. After inserting the longer, we have put it the two bolt of two centimeters and it's ready. The shredder box is ready and now it's time to assembling. We have one most important bolt and the other one. This has to be inserted in this hole and the most important bolt has to be inserted in this hole. The shredder box is heavy so we have to first put this all on the top bolt and his weight will be on the frame we have secured the shredder box and now we have to put the second bolt The shredder box is fixed to the frame and now the, this little step that is to make longer the chain and to build the top crown. 
we don't teach you how to make the chain longer because it's so simple we will go on the making of the top crown that is made by the metal plate the metal discs and the vintage crown it has to be 48 or 50 teeth five or six holes you put you sign the holes then with the little metal disc you have to solder it two on each side now we have these two parts welded and now it's time to mount it Now we have to align the, this disc to the other. It's aligned. We have just to drill a hole to fix the plate to the axle. Everything is ready, working. The last final step is to make the plastic box to put on the bottom. You can find all the drawings on the download kit. It's 5mm plexiglass, PMMA. Now it's the testing moment. Pay attention not to put a very big size plastic. Yeah, this is perfect. Also the cut plastic from bottles, not entire bottles. I'm ready. The first one is done. Then you can customize yours with uh, different pedals, different handles, changing colors or putting your brand and with a different shredder inside. Okay, Ivan, wow, thank you very much. My goodness, this machine is so cool. I can't wait for more of you to replicate this machine. Once again, if you need the files to replicate this machine, go on the how-to, there you can find all the steps, all the files, everything you need to replicate this Cyclet shredder. And if you do so, make sure to share it back so we know that you've done it and we can help uh, Ivan to improve the machine. All right, so once again, Ivan, thank you very much and I'll see everyone in the next video. Ciao!